how you do. You know, we're not bad as ordinary drivers, are we? I mean, there are a few idiots about, but they are few and far between, thank God. Oh, hang on a minute. But we all make mistakes, don't we? A misjudgment, perhaps. A moment's lack of concentration. A blunder and bang, there we are with a bent wing. A lot of aggro. Or suddenly, perhaps, in a twinkling of an eye, a tragedy. But cope, on the whole, we do. By looking here, there and everywhere. Watching. Searching for possible problems. You know, when you come to think of it, it's amazing what we do manage to cope with. No computer could handle it. And like computers, we depend on information. But what if that information can't get through to us? And there is a time when that happens, when we're deprived, handicapped, every single one of us. Now, I'm not saying we're obviously handicapped, like the folk who wear that badge of courage, but we're handicapped nevertheless. Cut off from that information because we can't see it. And why can't we see it? Because every day, as regular as clockwork, it gets dark. Yeah, it's a bit different, isn't it? Bright lights, shadows, silhouettes, distractions, different world. Where are your eyes looking now? Not at the foreground, I'll bet it's too dull and dark, isn't it? It's the bright lights that take your eye naturally. Different world, like we agreed. The different worlds demand different driving. And some of us, like this Herbert here, don't recognise the difference. Let's go with it. Might be a bit risky, but why not, eh? 30 mile an hour speed limit, so Herbert does 30. No problems. No problems, eh? Let's see. Ooh, saw it too late, didn't you, Herbert? Never mind, press on. Of course you will. Whoop! Could have been nasty, that one. Except in daylight, it's not really a problem. You can see him and he can see us, but at night. Now let's have another look, because this is important. In the dark, we only do 25% of our driving. But when it comes to our accidents with pedestrians, it's when 50% of them happen. In the dark, 50%. You could have hit him before you knew it. Never mind, on we go. 40 speed limit, so Herbert does 40. Of course, he does been down this road a thousand times. Car coming here, overtaking, better pull over. Whoa! Close, that one. Nothing coming. <gasps> What's it? You couldn't see him, could you? Well, don't trust your luck next time, Herbert. On we go. Whoa! Another Herbert. I've had enough. Come on, let's take a breather. Ah, oh, this is better. Nice bit of countryside. Now, what happens here? Well, in daylight, when there's no problem seen, we're not at all bad, are we? Gotta watch these bends, though, because in the country, anything could be round the corner. Could be a crowd of cows waiting for us. Hello, nice brow of a hill here. Let's be on the watch for something on the other side. Yes, you see, the girl on a bike. Indicator, give her plenty of leeway. And away we go.
Now there's a farm here on the left hand side and there's a tractor just about to come out of it. I wonder if he's seen us. We can see him all right. I'm going to change down for the bend anyway. Yeah, he's seen us. Thank you. Up again, a bit of foot down. Road clear except for a Gigi. With a little blonde on it. It's another hazard of the countryside. Indicator again, give her plenty of leeway. More ways than one, behave yourself, Colin. And away we go. Now, as you know, if you're anything like a driver, when you're driving at speed, and this is completely automatic, you look further and further ahead. Well, look at this sign coming up now. What is it? Quarter of a mile away. But at night, we can't see that far, can we? It's another world again, isn't it? And that's when our Herbert really comes into his own. Yeah, this is the life, isn't it, Herbert? Warm, comfortable. A bit tired, but soon be home. No worries. King of the road. Too many of us do it, you know. Drive us faster, faster. It's true, honest. Research has proved it. Idiots, aren't we? Hey, oh! <laughs> Pile of bay. Thank God that's all it was. Never mind, Herbert. Press on. Something about a nice bend, isn't there? Lean of the car. Sweep of the headlights. Empty road. Empty? Pity lights don't shine around corners, isn't it? Oh, well. Car in front, follow me leader. He's overtaking, so we'll follow, eh? Why not? Turning right, that's why not. Unbelievable. But I'll tell you something now that'll really make your hair curl. We're at our daftest when we can least afford to be. When it's not only dark, but raining. It's even more difficult to see. Blind spots galore, windows steamed up, glare, confusion. In conditions like this, dark and raining, now listen to this, there's 50 times more chance of us hitting a pedestrian than in daylight. Yes, 50 times more. He's not alone. Horrible truth is we can all be Herberts when we're driving in the dark. We simply don't make allowances for what we can't see. So what can we do about it? Well, what about lights for a start? Let's make sure they're clean and working. Front and rear. Clean windscreens would help. Outside and in. Wiper blade should always be in good nick. Missing up. Why don't we shift it? 
before moving off, we could open the window a little. And when we're actually driving, let's use the road signs and the road markings. They are there to help us, you know. And don't go looking at the other fellow's lights. Look at the verge and allow for that glare. Let's give ourselves a chance, eh? And above all, expect the unexpected. Especially after dark. In the country and in the town. Eyes on the move. Concentrating, searching, anticipating. And only going as fast as we can see. So I propose that all of us use even more sense in the dark than we do in daylight. Drive more slowly, more carefully. Okay? All those in favour, raise your right foot. Just a bit take. Look after yourselves. 